Hello, welcome. I'm going to play Math Fun on the Intellivision. So this game, you can see on the title screen, it says Electric Company Math Fun. That was the original title until the license ran out. My box and cartridge just say Math Fun since at that point the license was gone. But left in the game, of course, it's only on the title screen. It really doesn't impact the rest of the game. It also was left on the manual and the overlays. It was developed in association with the Children's Television Workshop, which is the CTW at the bottom of the screen. And the copyright's 1978, which predates the Intellivision itself. So the game was probably made, you know, well before it was released. It was used as one of the original four cartridges to be test marketed in 1979 with the system, officially released in 1980. So let me get it set up here. It is made for two players. You can play solo, but you still have to set up the second player. So each player can be different as far as number of problems and skill levels. So, you know, if you have a five-year-old playing against an eight-year-old, you can make it, you know, harder for the eight-year-old. Try to make it even if you're competing, which is what makes it more fun to learn math that way. I mean, playing by yourself, you can basically just try to set the fastest times it does keep track of times so i'm just going to enter five problems now there are five base levels and then within those the first four levels have five more difficulty settings and then the hardest only has two i'm just going to keep it basic this is the second level and then within that i have to choose one to five okay so then player two Give them seven problems. Let's go to level three. Yeah, two within that level. All right, so here's the game. And this is basically the whole game for the most part, which is, you know, for 1980, most games were just single screens. But it gives the effect that it is moving with the river and then the characters, each play a gorilla, and they get blocked by animals. They'll run forward after they get problem correct if they get it wrong they jump in the river so up top it's showing the number of problems completed so zero so far so one out of one correct and then the gorilla runs forward now there's a lion blocking his path now the tricky thing about this if you do the problem in your head you just want to type in this case 170 but you have to enter the answers right to left. I'm gonna do them backwards, essentially, which is you know how you'd write it on a paper, but it's a little odd. Too. You know, you gotta get the answer in your head first, and you wanna. Sorry, I'm just hitting. So I'll hit the wrong number sometimes, just because I'm not looking at the gamepad. I cover it up to um try to muffle the sound of the controller. This game only uses numbers and the enter key and clear key, so no side buttons. Now, later cartridges actually may be different. According to the Old Intellivision Lives website, customers complained about the way of entering numbers, so it was revised. There are cartridges that you enter the, the, um, the answers left to right rather than right to left. Okay, this is the fifth one, so it's going to end with a little dance. And a little jingle there. I like the music in this game. My sister and I used to have fun with it. He said it's more fun when you have a second player because you're racing to the bottom. You could almost look at it as a racing game if you wanted, but yeah, it's just doing math. It's I know for most people to look at this and say it's boring, but hey, if you were a kid in 1980 and you could have fun learning math, why not play math fun? There is also word fun. I don't own that one. I did play it back on the play cable days. Also, you know, the electric company endorsement and then later dropped it. So 
It's just called Word Fun on the later release. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, hitting the wrong numbers. Though I should get one wrong at least to um show you what happens when you have to jump in the river. Let me get the next one wrong intentionally. Then I'll get blocked by an animal in the water. There's at least a couple different ones. I know there's also a hippo. And I'll jump out of the water. So it doesn't really slow the guy down too much, I and mean, he has to do the animation of jumping in and out of the water. If you listen to the sound effects, you'll probably recognize at least one of them, as games often did reuse sound effects on old systems, I and mean, there's only so much they could do. There's the growl that I'm quite certain, that one is the um the dragon in Dungeons and Dragons this is a big number yeah and there you go it is math fun on the Intellivision. Uh, thanks for watching.